Welcome back. Next, we will explore how to connect a Power BI desktop and a cloud service to Microsoft SQL Server. In order to, to connect uh, the Power BI desktop to SQL Server, certain prerequisites needs to be met. You need, you need to have the SQL Server and SSMS installed in your system. And you need to have the tables with data available in your SQL Server. Uh, SQL Server, and also uh, make sure that you have installed the standard gateway. You just uh, go to the Google search engine and just type "download uh, Power BI standard gateway," and it'll and uh, with that you can find out uh, the link uh, in the Microsoft link wherein you can download the standard gateway. And the next step is you need to have the access credentials to Power BI Cloud Service. Next, uh, we will take a look at how to connect to SQL Server database from Power BI Desktop. So this is my report. I launched the Power BI Desktop. And the first step is to make the connection with the SQL Server. So I'm going to select the SQL Server. Look here, here itself, we can find the SQL Server icon here. You can either click on it or you can go to the Git Data and then click on the SQL Server. So now we can see the dialog box, the SQL Server database dialog box. Uh, here we need to specify the name of the server in the database. The server name is and then the database name is sales in my case. So you can either select the import or direct uh, query data connectivity mode. This is available in your Power BI desktop only, these two options, okay? And um, I'm going to say, okay, the default uh, connectivity mode is import. I'm going to hit okay now. Here we can see that uh, the list of tables that are available as part of the sales database. Here I'm going to select uh, the dim location and dim customer. And plus I'm going to select uh, the, okay, this is an import mode. I just uh, hit load. So now we can see that on the right hand corner, just beneath the fields pane, we can see the two tables, the dim customer and dim location got imported locally into my Power BI desktop. And if you wanted to see, uh, for example, I just want to expand uh, this one. You can see all the columns that belongs to these two tables. We can see it here. And obviously when you go to the data view here, if you, as explained in my other uh, session, how to navigate, right? So now we switched over to the data view. And here we can see the dim customer tables data. And the next one is dim selection. If you select this one, you can see the data that are available as part of dim selection. Uh, the next thing, what I do is I just uh, click on the SQL server once again. This time I'm going to use the direct query connectivity mode. Direct query. I just selected direct query connected mode this time. I'm going to hit OK now. This time I just select the sales fact table. I'm going to hit load now. In total, we will be having three tables. Already two tables got imported or loaded locally into my Power BI desktop. And the other table, sales fact, also got loaded with metadata. This table will not have the data available locally. 
because I have used direct query connectivity mode. Anyhow, we will discuss about a different uh, type of storage mode or connectivity mode in the other uh, in the later point in time. So next, what I do is I just create a visual quickly. I just uh, selected the clustered column chart. I'm going to select the location name. I just drop it here and then we'll take, we'll, we'll drop the sales amount column here and then the, yeah, so this is the one. Now it is not making any connection because there is no relationship exists between these two table. I just create the relationship between these two table. Yes, and now uh, we can see that uh, my visual. Now I can see that in this visual, the sum of sales amount by location. Eh? Since we have the proper relationship established between these two tables, it is doing the filtering correctly. So now uh, with this, I uh, hope you understood how to connect to SQL Server in both the uh, import connectivity mode as well as direct query connectivity mode. Next, we will move ahead and take a look at how to connect to Power BI cloud service. From the Power BI cloud service, how we can create the connection to my SQL Server database. Here in my system, I have the SQL Server database already installed. This is my SQL uh, Server management system, management service. So here we can see the data here for these tables. You can see that the sales fact table have this many number of records are there. And from the cloud, we are going to establish a connection to my on-premise, this SQL server. We'll see how we can set up the connection, everything. From the cloud, how I can read the SQL server uh, table data shortly, okay? I just go to the cloud. This is my cloud. So app.powerbi.com, you just type app.powerbi.com, it will ask you the credentials. Once you give your credentials, you'll get uh, you know, signed in. And here I just create one workspace. I just say new workspace here. My workspace name is SQL Server Connection. Yes, the new workspace got created. I'm going to publish this report in that workspace, SQL Server Connection. From my, so I'm going to publish this report, Connect to SQL Server from Power BI. You know, this file, I'm going to publish it to my cloud. In the cloud, we have the workspace name SQL Server Connection. So in, you know, for that, I'm going to I'm going to publish this report to this workspace. Workspace is kind of your folder. Good that uh, this report got published under this SQL Server Connection workspace. You can see that the report as well as the data file. I just uh, hit this publish button here. Along with the report, the data also got published on cloud. So in my cloud, Power BI cloud service, so under this workspace, you know, I have both the report as well as the data file got published automatically. I just click on the connect to the report file. So there are two files. One is the report file, other one is the data file. You can see that here, if whether uh, the report get, um, uh, populated with the data from my on-premise SQL server. Remember that this SQL server is available in my local system, not on cloud. Now from the cloud, it uh, select the data from this SQL server and then it uh, populates this visual. But here in this case, Power BI Desktop, since it is available on-premises and also the SQL server available on-premises, 
uh, it it doesn't take much time whereas in this case from the cloud uh, this visual is going to pull the data from my on premises sql server so for this you need to make sure that the power bi data gateway is running okay you need to have the standard gateway to be installed in your power bi desktop i'll just show you quickly how to install the power bi standard gateway and this one should be up and running in order for you to read the data from your cloud sorry read the data uh, from cloud right so how you can read the data of your on premise sql server from cloud right so so in order to do that you need to have the data gateway so i just um, look here download on premises data gateway from better let me go here power bi gateway and if you go here you can see that uh, there are two modes of gateway one is standard mode other one is personal mode you download the standard mode it will not take much time look here it started um, the download once this download gets completed you just click on the exe file it will open up the installation window you need to keep click next button until you see the message installation was successful okay once that has been done you don't have to worry the power bi gateway will be running up and running so to validate that in my system i have already installed the power bi data gateway so what i do is i just type data gateway look here on premises data gateway so here if you click on open so once you install the data gateway in your case successfully the next step is you go to your start button and type uh, data gateway look here this is what i did click on the on premises data gateway it will take for a while to open that with that you can uh, you can make sure that uh, the data gateway is running so in my case it is already running what i do is i just go here and then uh, will show you how you need to establish a connection from your cloud to your on premises sql server i just go here and then let me just uh, look here this is just now it opens the data gateway So look here, your data gateway is all set up, service settings. So this on-premises data gateway is running, without which you cannot publish the report from your local Power BI desktop or your on-premises report, Power BI report to your cloud. So the data gateway should run. Okay, the standard data gateway is best, right? You need to make sure that that is the one is run. And this is my workspace. This is where we published the report along with that the data file got published automatically now what you do is uh, next to the data file you will find the three dots it is also called as an ellipses you just click on it and here you will see settings click on the settings and then you will have the data connection here so how do i create the data connection if you are uh, creating the data connection first time what you do is you just um, uh, next to this one right you need to click on uh, there are two gateway in my case you know personal gateway don't use this one and this is your standard gateway here you will find the wheel icon when you click on it it will ask you for your uh, the sql server connection name so what i do is sql server sales db connection okay so department you can say sales department and if you have any description you can give it here and then email id and then rest of them you don't have to do anything simply save it so what is the name of uh, the um, connection sql server connection on your power bi cloud service the sql server sales db remember this i just copy this and then next thing is what i do is i just um, go back to my this and then i'll just go to this 
in, uh, okay settings and uh, here the data gateway connection look here and then here i'm going to click on new okay and, and then here look here it got picked up automatically okay sorry this is the one we did it already and the next step is uh, yeah you need to select the data sources and then click on new okay here you need to specify the connection name the cluster name gateway cluster name which we created a while back you remember i just show you one more time so look here you just go here and then uh, your is SQL server connection yeah this is what your folder name and here what i did i just clicked on it and then settings and then here the data gate dear gateway connection here what you need to do is if you want to create a new connection you just click on this wheel icon and then what so when you click on the wheel icon it will open the uh so it will open a settings um uh, window here here what it is you can specify whatever the name that you needed give some meaningful name here in this case i've given sql server sales db and the department name is you know you can specify what are the department uh, you you know is going which all department that is going to use it right just give some name here and uh, the next one is you just close it once you are done with it, you can close it and the next step is step two you need to click on the data sources and then here you need to select the new and this time you are going to define the data source in order to define the data source you need to have the cluster name this is the one we created a while back and the next one is the data source name is what do you say okay here also i'm going to give sql server sales database connection and then source type this is sql server and then the next one is it will ask you the server name you need to specify your on-premise server name here I just go and check the server name uh, for the sake of uh, confirmation. BBD and three, yes. This is my server name and then the database name is sales. This is my SQL server name and the database uh, you know the name this database should be available already in your server okay and then the next one is the authentication method you just uh, click on it here windows you just select windows and here you need to specify your system and, and name and then followed by the username and then password that's it guys you just uh, click on create the created sql server sales db connection now we are all set i just go back to the workspace again or i just click on the sql server connection workspace here in this case i just go ahead and check the settings here you need to expand the gateway connection and then here you just specify the connection name here sorry yeah here Look here, I just uh, say the SQL service DB connection. This is what the connection that we created a while back. We are done with this. I'm going to look here. This is the uh, SQL server, SQL database and sales. This is the one we specified it, right? So a while back. And I'm going to apply this one. We are done. And the next step is data source credentials. When you expand this one, you should not see any error here. It's good. It's doing great job the setup is good and the next step is we just go here and then click on this report it does a fantastic job and if you see on the top right corner mm -hmm. you will find the refresh icon here just uh, click on it and then you can see that uh, 405k sales happened in this specific city very good so with this you are able to understand how to so with this you are able to understand how to connect uh, the power bi desktop and cloud service to microsoft sql server and also we discussed the prerequisites so this wraps up uh, this 
session.